renewal page, if you go to renewal, right, we have a special tab here, attention core CHIP certificate, special performance based requirements. What we'll do uh, in the next, until you have um, until November, 2024 uh, to need to complete a specific one hour that is in your language, right? And what it will be, it will be a special exercise where you will log in, it's a free, you know, that one hour will come to you free because you will log in, there will be an online presentation about language proficiency assessment, then you will be asked to listen to an audio recording in your language. And because uh, I believe we do, don't have all Yugoslav. Uh, we, you will listen to a recording of another person describing a picture and you will answer the questionnaire of what you think the language proficiency of that person is. And that's your how you satisfy that requirement. It's a one-time requirement post getting the course CHIP certification. If, for example, you were um, you know, Japanese interpreter, the same thing. They would listen to one recording of another Japanese candidate uh, that was recorded during the test and they will assess that. Uh, and so this way you will kind of, uh, you know, have exercised your skill and listening to somebody else and based on our criteria and our checklist will demonstrate to us that, you know, yeah, you understand that person or maybe that person's language proficiency is not very good, then we will need to do something Thing with that person whom you evaluated. So, but that's the process and how we will, it takes us a little longer because we're in the process of updating the platform. So we want to make sure it's working, but it will come your way soon. And literally the time allocated to that one performance-based uh, uh, unit is one hour. So you'll have plenty of time to finish it before November 1st of 2024. All the other requirements are exactly the same as for core CHI or CHI.